Hey guys, welcome to Rogue Vault, and uh, this is going to be a quick uh, tutorial on how to fix a common uh, issue in Kali Linux. So uh, this issue is very common uh, in most of us, my subscribers' uh, issues. Like they come up saying um, they are not able to find a package. So if you're trying to install a package and you're not able to find a package. Uh, so how do we fix this? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log into my uh, Kali uh, Linux machine and I'm going to just reproduce the issue for you guys so that you can actually understand what exactly the issue is. So apt install, uh, let me say any package gedit. Um, so when I, when I do this, you guys can actually see reading package, building dependency and finally it comes up apt get gedit and here you can see unable to locate package gedit so uh, any package if i want to install i get the same issue say another package is apt install um let me install uh, probably nano oh sorry this is already installed so um any package probably when you try to install david Alright, so this is one more. So you can see that this package cannot be located. So this is a common uh, issues, and this issue is very easily rectifiable in your Linux, Kali Linux. Uh, all you need to do is just to update your Kali repo link. So let me quickly show you how it is done. So let me going to clear everything. So over here uh, in the uh, terminal, first thing which you guys need to do is you need to edit the repository link uh, file so you can actually use nano uh, for editing or any 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 common editor you guys have so you need to type nano uh, and this is the link etc slash etc slash apt then source list so you may need to go over here so just hit enter and you guys can see the source list over here uh, I don't have a source list. This is uh, really strange. I had one, but I am not sure how it vanished. So I need to enter a source source list. So where do I find the source list? It's just uh, you can go to uh, your browser in um, this uh, Linux or anywhere, and you just need to go to kali.org. Uh, so let me quickly show this kali.org. This is the website of official website of Kali Linux and then um, go to documentation and then click on uh, Kali documentation so you have to go to documentation and, and Kali documentation click on Kali documentation and then you'll have a lot of uh, options over here introduction installation virtualization cloud and so on so all you need to do now is go, in, go to general use okay everything else post install this is general use and in the general use on the first itself you'll find the Kali network repository so this is the file which you are editing etc apt source list click on this and this is exactly where you will find the Kali Linux repository link alright so these are the uh, repo links uh, you can have switch uh, source file format then default line values so uh, I'll tell you how it is done this slash and hash uh, then uh, source this is one source repository mirror and the source repository so in case if this is not the uh, one which is working out for you I can actually show you the same on the uh, you know how to upgrade Kali Linux 2021 so you can search uh, how to upgrade Kali Linux 2020.1 and you'll find uh, the Robolt uh, official video over here how to upgrade Kali Linux 2019.4 to 2020.1 click on this and uh, you just need to go to the description the repository link is all over here so these are the different re repository link of Kali Linux which I've already uh, mentioned in one of my video which is how to upgrade Kali Linux you can actually copy these links uh, the repository links and you can you know uh, paste it over there so it depends on if you want to use one link if you want to use the other one it all depends on how you guys uh, want to use so uh, I will definitely give the links again uh, in the current video description as well 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, dump one of the Kali uh, Linux uh, main repo link. So which is uh, this is the link. So you can actually uh, see this link over here. So non free contrib and uh, So this is one other uh, repository link. So this is the one. So this is the link I'm going to use in the uh, current video. So I can actually copy all the links if I want. I can copy this and I can have it, or I can choose what I exactly want. So um, what I will do is I'll use this, but then I would actually like to use the other ones as well. So, but then I need to remove one of this because it's already in use. Alright, so what happens if I configure multiple? Let's also see that. Alright, so I'll just write it out. So, write out is this option over here. Write out. So, write out and hit enter. It's saved. Now you can exit, which is over here option. Exit. So now that we have edited, we'll check once again if it is available. Yeah, it's all there. If you don't want something, you can, um, you know, put a slash, I mean, the hash mark over there, which will actually decrease that. Okay, let's uh, clear everything. Now try and install the package. Gedit. And uh, there you go. So it's trying to read from all the packages. So the thing is that you have multiple packages, so it's trying to make way into any of the repository, pretty much reachable, and you know download the uh, package. So now it's uh, so you can see now it is getting installed. So I, if I want to install gedit, I can just say yes, and the package is getting installed. So this is a common issue. I I request you all all of you to. Uh, take note that the repository links are very uh, you know essential for a uh, healthy running of Kali Linux uh, machine so please do not you know uh, be very reluctant on updating you need to regularly update the links or uh, update the best possible working links which I have given in my video as well uh, description so you can use that and by that way you can get this uh, issue resolved so uh, the package has been installed so that ends this uh, particular video and i hope this was uh, pretty much informative for you guys uh, and uh, probably if you have any issues uh, relating to kali Linux or any other uh, possible uh, you know programs please do uh, leave your comments below uh, and also you please watch out for the description because I will be updating uh, very useful and relevant information for you guys to have your Kali machine healthy. So there will be, uh, you know, uh, several things put on the description. And uh, yeah, that that exactly will be uh, all for this tutorial. I hope it was pretty much informative. Uh, so keep learning and uh, see you guys on the next video.